What's going on, Deadside family? Welcome back to another video. All right, so a lot of people have been asking how exactly is base rating going to work on Deadside? Well, you're not gonna have to wonder anymore because I finally have your answer. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right into what I discovered. In 2019, the Deadside developers hosted a series of live streams showcasing the progress that they had made on Deadside. If you guys have watched my other videos, you are well aware that I tracked this game extensively during its development. So with that being said, I ended up watching these live streams, although they were completely in Russian. While I was watching live stream number two, at around 58 minutes and 32 seconds, one of the developers began to speak English. And the topic that he decided to talk about in English was of course, base rating. So now that you know where I got this information, let's go ahead and talk about the details on the rating system. During this live stream, the developers mentioned that they did not want to have any kind of passive gameplay when it comes to rating bases. The developers then explained that they don't just simply want you to raid someone else's base when they're logged off. Instead, they want you to fight before you can take someone else's loot. To be able to achieve the goal that the developers set for themselves, they actually went ahead and developed their own system to be able to raid other people's bases. That system, of course, revolves around a wireless controller that you will have to be able to access your base. This wireless controller is pretty much going to serve as your garage door opener. And when you approach your base, you're able to use this remote to open up your exterior doors. Now, there is a catch to having the garage door opener on you at all times, and that is, if you die in the open world, the player that kills you is able to take your key and loot your base. But don't be too worried if you actually end up dying and you lose your key, because the key actually has a time limit of about an hour, and if the player that kills you is not able to find your base within that time frame, they will not have access to your base. It seems like this is probably going to be the main focus behind the rating system on that side, as the developers also mentioned that the exterior walls of your base will not receive any kind of damage from explosive, grenades, and anything else of that nature. If for whatever reason you do end up dying and losing your key, you will have the ability to spawn inside your base and prepare for whoever is going to come to raid you. Although I'm sure there will be players that don't necessarily agree with this rating system, I am excited to see that they use something other than lock picking and explosives to gain access to someone else's base. Adding on to everything else that I have mentioned, it's gonna be pretty cool when you're able to open your base directly from inside your vehicle without having to get out. I am sure these keys are going to bring excitement to the game and make players think twice before they make any kind of drastic moves. All right guys, so that's going to be it for this video. If you found this information helpful, please make sure to smack the thumbs up button so that we can continue to grow our YouTube community. Also, consider subscribing as I do follow the development of this game. If you guys are interested in watching the full stream where the developers talk about the rating system, feel free to go down to the description box where I have provided a link for you to follow. Alright guys, without further ado, I'll see you on the next video.